Hey, what's up, guys? It's me again, back with another Diamond Select Gallery statue review. And today we will be having a look at Okoye from Black Panther. And there's the front of the box with that big window on it. Kind of has that Infinity War Black Panther vibe going on. Here's the side of the box with another big old window. Just like the other side, I'm guessing this is really for inbox collectors to enjoy as well. But that life ain't for me. I will have her out of the box in no time. But on the back, you have a picture of the statue along with a read up that if you would like to read, you can pause and do so now. And there is the front of the box again. So I'm gonna take a second, get Okoye out of the box so we can have a closer look at her. Okay, there is a Koye out of the box, and there is some assembly required. By some, I mean one tiny step, and that will be plugging this in. And there you have it all done. But there is a panned out view of the full statue looking really good. And this statue to the top of a Koye's bald tattooed head stands almost nine inches tall. So now let's have a closer look at the details on this Diamond Select Gallery Okoye statue. There is that head sculpt. I think it looks really good. Looks like the actress that played Okoye. Nice clean lines throughout that bald tattooed head. Thinking about shaving my head and just tattooing hair on it. But yeah, all that line work is really good. Got those neck rings. Well, that's got to be uncomfortable, especially when you're fighting. That head sculpt is really good all around. Eyes are painted well. Got her javelin there. Looks really good, good detail on that. Also, there is a lot of incredible detail in her outfit. All these golds and reds and browns are separated really, really good. And it's just tons and tons of sculpt work in there. I mean, look at those textured boobies. How well they're sculpted and painted. Really nice. You have these straps and stuff throughout her looking really good. All the little leather stitching showing and painted. You got her skirt piece flowing in the wind as she runs and leaps off of that rock. She's got Ninja Turtle toe shoes. Again, that textured pants down to the feet look really good. This skirt piece flowing through her while she's running. And the rock diorama also looks really good. I really like these leaves, honestly. I love the paintwork on those leaves and that bright green. This statue has a lot of vibrant colors on it. Look at this gold trim throughout all of that flowing cloth. I'm just waiting on her to actually let that javelin go. All right, and there is a nice 360 view of this Diamond Select Gallery. Okoye statue. I really love that stance she's in, just getting ready to sling that javelin through one of the outriders. At least that's what I picture in my mind. All the detail in this thing just looks great. Even that head sculpt. So just really happy with this one. And I would like to thank Diamond Select for making this review possible. If you would like to check out this statue and many others like it, along with action figures and plenty of other collectibles, head on over to their website. I will link it in the description. So head on over and buy yourself something cool. But that is all I have for this unboxing and review. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye for now. You better leave. I will throw this at you.